This Columbus Day morning, we are in the Roadshow Kitchen with Chef Jason Medeiros. Capital Grill is the location. We got a good one. Lobster mac and cheese, that's what's on the menu this morning. That's good correct. Uh, so happy to have you here. Thanks for coming in. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. Um, we were talking business has been really good. Yeah, business which is, is strong. Knock on wood, that's great. Yeah. That's great. Um, what are you going to make for us uh, today? Tell us about... We're going to make a little uh, lobster mac and cheese. Seems right. to be everybody's favorite over there. Well, uh, not even over there. This morning when we heard you were coming in and we heard it was lobster mac and cheese, Brendan is a big fan of it. All I heard from him was like, <gasps> it's fantastic. It's delicious. We'll make sure we leave him some behind. That's that's right. Well, you've got enough here. So let's go over the ingredients we need to, uh, to actually put this together. Okay, really simple. We're just going to do a little clarified butter, raw lobster, salt, heavy whipping cream, mascarpone, cheddar, Granada, Pomodoro, and uh, Havati. Okay. And the pasta is the Campanelli, and we finished it off with a little toasted breadcrumb. Now, do you like you like this uh, pasta just because it kind of like grips onto everything? Yeah, it's, it scoops up the cheese. It holds a good amount inside each piece, you know? Right, yeah. Right, right. And um, the lobster itself, not you're not cooking it before, you're just putting it in? No, and... we like to cook it in the pan. That, he'll, that helps season the dish, you know? Right, it gives right. it a nice lobster flavor, yeah. Okay. You'd lose all your flavor if you yeah. boiled it. And you got a good amount here, too, right? Yeah, well, we're going to do a double order, so, yeah. Okay, all right. Double order will be, will be <laughs> perfect, so we, we can put this together a um, lot of exciting things because obviously events are starting to come back to Providence too, oh, yeah. which is so nice to see and people want to go and they want to have something yeah. delicious right a lot of stuff going on at the convention center again which is great yeah great for all of you folks awesome. so that's great so we will put this together we're gonna to have make a double order because Brendan Kirby likes lobster mac and cheese uh, so Jason's gonna hook him up today we'll put this together talk about the restaurant in just a little bit back to you morning in the road show kitchen oh that's sizzle means one thing we are going to eat very well this morning and we are thrilled that one of our favorite people is here from one of our favorite places why am i yelling <laughs> all of a sudden i'm an auctioneer but this is chef jason Medeiros from the capitol grill good morning sir morning he is preparing as i like to say get up very close to your screen of choice lobster mac and cheese How's it coming along here, my friend? Coming along nicely now. Now, I was, uh, Will was telling you how excited I am. I came in for lunch over the summer, and I had this one day, and it was out of this world. Uh, I would imagine this is a favorite. Oh, yeah, definitely a favorite. A lot of people order this. And I'm one of them. <laughs> so that works out well. Talk to me about the preparation process. This is uh, pretty simple for you to prepare, isn't it? Yeah, this is a, a real simple dish, actually. we uh, just basically starting off with a little clarified butter and some raw lobster meat. Put a little saute on that. Then we're going to put in our heavy whipping cream. So that's where we're at right now. Love this. And it was funny because I walked in here and I said, okay, he, <laughs> it's not that he hadn't done anything yet, but the ingredients were still all strewn about and nothing was happening. I said, can you, can you, can you do this in four minutes? He goes, no problem. No problem whatsoever. That's why this man is a professional. Let's talk, Jason, about all the wonderful things happening at the Capitol Grill. It really is a favorite location of Rhode Islanders and, and people all over New England, really. Oh, yeah, definitely. We've been quite busy with, uh, well, with our lunches uh, picked up dramatically. Uh, I think that's due to not everybody being open in town, but we're enjoying it actually because we like being busy. Absolutely, and this is such a great time because as Will said to you earlier, you know, we talked about earlier in the Rocho here today as well, events are coming back to PPAC. We've got the Friars season on the horizon, Peep Ruins, WWE is coming to the dunk. It's an exciting time, so people really can make uh, Capitol Grill yeah. part of their evening. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we hope for when the conventions do come in town, that they walk next door, you know, yeah. And for you as a chef, I would imagine uh, it's very rewarding for you to know that they make that part of their Providence experience. Oh, absolutely. Let's absolutely. talk about the ever-changing menu as well. We know about the lobster mac and cheese, which is an absolute classic. Are you kind of getting creative as the seasons change? How does yeah, that work they, for you? They did change it up a little bit, not too much. I mean, I think they leave it up to the individual Capital Grills to kind of put some stuff on and off of there, which is what we do. You know, we, we always run a fish special come the weekend, so uh, yeah. You really do have an abundance of options. Yeah. How long have you been working there now? I've been at the Capitol Grill now for four years, um, but I did work there originally back in like 92 or 93. Going way back. Cooking for CNC and stuff, so that was fun, yeah. There really is, though, funny you would say that, a great sense of history with the location. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've been, we are the uh, original Capitol Grill in That's Providence, right. yeah. And, and I say location, even though it is not the OG one, it is a newer right. spot, but still right. down in that same general area. Right. I think this actually, uh, this location is actually much better with the uh, the water view and everything. So uh, I really like working there. Tremendous. And I saw you just added, you know, with things are coming along here, right? Oh, yeah. Campanelli went in. The, the, uh, f the three cheeses went in, which is the cheddar, the uh, Havati, and the uh, Pomodoro there. Now, as, as we can see right here, 
Uh, there's a tremendous serving right there, which is enough for just me, uh, which I love, Chef. So thank you for thinking of me right there. <laughs> for you, I mean, do you have a favorite item on the menu, or do you? Well, I, I love mean, I love the steaks. You know, every night I work, I try not to have a steak every night, but it turns into almost having a steak every night I'm there. But uh, yeah, I, I do. I love the corner. I love some of the rubs that they put together. It, it is good in the dry age process. For you personally, I know you, uh, it, things have been very rewarding at the Capitol Grill, of course, but what made you want to become a chef? Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I used to hang around my mom's uh, apron string, I guess, as a, as a child, and uh, really liked tasting the food and, and like being involved in the kitchen and stuff. So from there, it kind of took off, you so, know? Very nice that you've actually been able to turn that into a career for yourself. Yeah, which actually, is great. yeah. And uh, support a large family on it, too. That's a wonderful thing. And yeah. uh, this preparation process, you know, it seems like it's been very simple. People really shouldn't be intimidated to try this in their no. own kitchen. No, this is uh, quite easy, really. It's just heavy cream and some cheese. Sounds pretty good to me, but of course we want them to come down to see you downtown. Can you just remind us kind of where the actual location is for those? We know they're familiar, but just remind everybody. It's right across from the Mall 10 Memorial Boulevard in the IGP building. Outstanding. Well, save me a seat at the bar now. Ah. All right, I'm going to have a vodka soda. Have it ready to go. We'll have it ready for you. This is the man, Chef Jason Medeiros from, like we said, one of our favorite places. Just, it's always so good. The Capitol Grill right there in downtown Providence. If you guys would like to review the recipe to try this at home or to learn more all about the restaurant itself, just visit us. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Roadshow.com. Wow.